राजू भाई का स्वागत करते हैं तो Can we clap? <laughs> तालियां बजा के सब स्वागत कर सकते हैं ओम शांति This is for Avyakti Parivar. So from now, uh, the session. So Avyakti Parivar me. Ab Hindi me session hoga. So jisko bhi English me translation chahiye, wo translation select kar sakte hain. Om Shanti Rajbhai ji, aapka bahut bahut swagat hai. Um, अब यहाँ देख रहे हैं स्क्रीन ये अव्यक्ति परिवार है इसमें 500 से भी ज्यादा बाबा के बच्चे बैठे हैं लाइव जूम है और यूट्यूब भी लाइव चल रहा है जिसमें 500 से भी ज्यादा बैठे हैं और यहाँ पर तो है ही साकार में सामने आपके जो सब आपको सुनने के लिए अतुर है सभी um, हाँ काफी देशों से हैं और अभी आर्ट लैंग्वेज में ट्रांसलेशन भी हो रहा है साथ साथ सो uh, so हमारे राजू भाई जी बहुत स्पेशल है um, बाबा की अनन्य रतन है um, 1971 से बाबा के मधुबन घर में रहते हैं और जो ये मुरली डिपार्टमेंट हाँ इतना बड़ा मुरली डिपार्टमेंट है उनके लिए बाबा ह्यूज डिपार्टमेंट बट ही इज दन इज इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द मुरली डिपार्टमेंट सो वी थैंक हिम वेरी स्पेशल थैंक टू हिम सो लॉर्ड ऑफ ब्लेसिंग and um uh he is sharing bubbles treasure to us so our angels from avyakti parivar will welcome you now so little angels are welcoming raju bhai now so we have two angels here to welcome you avyakti parivar me aap raju bhai welcome uh, to avyakti parivar so thanks for bringing this fragrance of madhuban to us thanks a lot thank you raju bhai welcome to avyakti parivar so we are so blessed to have you the knowledgeful and yogi soul in front of us so these are two angels uh, they have 100% attendance at avyakti parivar so they are in california in usa so they were also in madhuban few days back so we have so many such kids those who attend every day avyakti parivar so now we'll listen to um, raju bhai the rajiv bhai is asking for how long can i share om shanti om shanti avyakti parivar ka so this avyakti parivar uh, so i congratulate avyakti parivar and welcome avyakti parivar so in through email uh, bhumi ben so bhumi ben keeps sending me all the guidelines of avyakti parivar uh, via email to me so i also watch it i listen to it so whenever there are sig avyakt signal you practice so uh, so bhumi ben always send me the email uh, <laughs> like for in advance she asks for like can you send us in advance the avyakt signals for next month so now i do it in advance for two months so i all she always ask me can you send us ahead of time so i 
sent her, I, uh, every month I send her uh, in advance. So Baba has given me this fortune of playing with all the jewels. So like Didi was sharing, like our respected Dadi Ji, Gulzar Dadi, uh, when she was not well, body was not well, she was in Bombay. And then at that time I went to see her in Bombay. And at that time, Dadi, uh, in the parlor center, Didi used to, uh, Dadi uh, used to chat so sweetly. Uh, and at that time, Dadi said to me, so just prepare a group in Madhuban, uh, a group uh, which is like making such special effort and um, whole Brahmin family should follow that group. So that was kind of inspiration from Dadi to create such a group. So I came back to Shanti one and there I prepared like a group with few brothers, like we should meet uh, and then the effort should be uh, more about churning Murli, thinking, reflecting on Murlis. So we created a seven days program for each day, a different program and one hour every day. And uh, many keeps joining that group. So like 70 brothers were in that group. So now we have a group of 70 brothers. And what we do, so what we do is like we go for the farm in the farm, the yog in Tapovan, we go for yogic farming and we go and sit and do yoga there. So, so there is a new, new farm healing garden. Uh, we bought a new place there. So we go there uh, at 6 p.m. And then until 7, 7.30 p.m., we sit there, do yoga, and just give Baba's light and might, Sakash, to all the plants. And we talk to like earth and um, other nature and so that every plant is well, everything is good. So we uh, just create like a canopy of protection uh, around that uh, with Baba's energy. So on Sunday uh, with the Avyakt Murli, so we create a uh, uh, kind of exam. So it's like 100 max uh, question answers. So we uh, create that question paper. And in that, so many brothers, sisters, they join all over India. And in that, we have this aim that everyone who will perform or give that exam, even though they score even less, but whoever is participating uh, will give them some prize. And who, um, those who will receive 100%, so we give them a special prize. So after six months, every six months, we give them something special like some Baba's uh, special gift, uh, pen or photo frame. Like recently what we gave them was a new book of Baba. It's a very new uh, book. Uh, the name is uh, Chota Nandi, meaning, uh, uh, so it, it so it has all the experiences. It's uh, compiling experiences of Dadi's, uh, especially Dadi Gulzar. So while reading that book, I was remembering and reflecting on all Dadi's specialities. So that book is very beautiful and very special. So I gifted that book to all of them. So, uh, so many uh, brothers and sisters, they join for that exam. So for them, uh, we give them special gifts. So all over India, Nepal, they join. So uh, that is always from Sunday's Murli, that Avyakt Murli. And on Monday, we do a special yoga that is at 7 p.m. So everyone is like present there in person. 
and uh, until seven or eight we just sit so stable no movement no commentaries there but after every 15 minutes we keep some new aim like we have a uh, aim that's how we sit for yoga so sometimes daddy what daddy used to do like oh wake up at 2 a.m and at 2 a.m we used to sit and until 5 a.m we used to do yoga together so after every 15 minutes daddy used to give us some aim like let's go to subtle reason and meet baba let's go to now um uh, to uh, soul world and meet baba like giving two three lines or words as aim uh, so that's how we do on mondays so uh, now uh, earlier only brothers were doing that but now uh, sisters also join so we do like one hour powerful yoga and then um, after that we just share a few things uh, from baba's murli and uh, that's how we uh, keeping th this aim we just do that if we have new place and we have to inaugurate a new place so there we go and uh, every evening we go to the new place uh, and we try to sleep there so we eat dinner and then go there and sit and uh, do yoga and do some chit chat and then we sleep there and then wake up at 2 a.m and sit until 5 a.m for yoga like we got a new place tapovan and um, uh, there is like we can accommodate 50 to 60 brothers and sisters at some time so to inaugurate that so what we did like we went there at night that was um a uh, full moon night and we sat there uh, first on the ceiling like on top and then we sat there uh, then it was cold then we came down and sit in the baba's room and then uh, we did it for like three four hours very powerful yoga so as we are doing uh, yoga in such a variety so everyone is so inspired and so much enthusiasm is there so this is a kind of good source for all the brahmins and um, one aim that we have is like also similar to tomorrow's uh, homework is like whatever situation or obstacle is there don't go in the uh, Q, why and what so Nadi used to tell us like whenever there is waste the basis of having waste is always why what where how so those who are <laughs> going questions that used to call them crow because crow is like uh, uh, the voice is the same as questions so don't go in questions that brings waste to you so whatever situation is coming in your life is for your benevolence your benefit so baba has shown us so many such scenes like if we have that patience and tolerance within us like if we have some situation from body or relations or uh, in our own sanskars or from nature better so whatever exam is there whatever test test paper is there if we are in that stage uh, not in stable stage then we don't have that power to what to do at that time what to decide how to discern that situation so that's why baba uh, is like daddy uh, at the end time, so Dadi used to uh, tell us about five virtues, like you should have five virtues in your life. First is truthfulness, then purity, then humility, and then was tolerance, patience, and then sweetness. So the more you have the virtue of patience, like if you are so stable uh, and you don't have to react right away on a situation if the situation is there the solution will come family is with you baba is with you so you will get the solution but if you start reacting instantly then you have so many questions in your mind upheaval in your mind and then you will not able to decide and discern the situation accurately so daddy used to tell us think a little 
have patience and then react. So uh, at the end, uh, what I have observed in Dadi is like every time we used to go to Dadi, Dadi used to tell us only two things. First is take silence for one minute, just sit there in silence and then don't think, <laughs> don't think. So then I, I, I was like, Dadi, but I have a question. How can I not think? And Dadi used to like, just don't think. So that was her, uh, her dharana, her inculcation. Like, if there is no answer to a question, why you think about it? So Dadi used to tell us this a lot. So every time I, uh, I used to ask Dadi, Dadi, but we received this question uh, from somebody, what should I answer in the letter? So what, what would I respond? So Dadi used to tell me, just respond some positive thing. Don't uh, just respond whatever Baba teaches us. So her personal incations, uh, dharanas are like, the things will come, obstacles will come, then there is a lot of expansion if we go in that. Don't go in those details. Just tell Baba everything so truthfully and just receive power from Baba. Baba will guide you. So if Dadi will guide you or somebody else will guide you, it will not have that power that Baba will Baba can give you. So just connect with Baba. Just get answer from Baba. So don't ever respond in a negative way. Always respond in a positive way. So uh, after that, it feels like Baba has like blocked my ears, whatever uh, somebody is coming with any complaint or any questions. So Dadi used to tell, I have no ears for that. I cannot hear those things. So I have seen Dadi um, in her last day, the daddy's stage was very high, very elevated stage. So daddy left body in March. So uh, in February, she called me and said, oh, Raju, why, where are you? So I said, oh, daddy, I'm in, uh, uh, daddy was in Ahmedabad and uh, the Raju bhai was in Vijaywada. So, so daddy is like, can you come for two minutes? And I said, Dadi, I'll come after two days. And Dadi was like, oh, two days. So Dadi, like she can see the future. And after two days, when I came um, uh, to Ahmedabad and I asked Hansa Ben Dadi, uh, can I come to see Dadi? And at that time, Dadi was in ICU and doctor will not allow you. But uh, when Dadi left, uh, and uh, Dadi said the last lines were from Dadi was like, uh, uh, oh, whatever you have created that Madhuban newsletter is, uh, I was calling you for that. So until end, Dadi was so accurate, so active. So, uh, whenever Dadi um, used to ask me anything, uh, I have this blessing from Dadi, like uh, with those blessings, I'm able to create these avyak signals. So earlier we used to send for just 15 days. So Dadi's attention was more on these two things, especially because of the foreign service. So one day Dadi said, uh, Dadi was there, Dadi Janki and Dadi Prakashmani, both Dadis were there. And Dadi Janki was like, uh, uh, like looking at me, uh, Dadi said, oh, sh he sent, send me a uh, stale food, not fresh food. So I was like, Dadi, but I, I don't send you any food. I, I am not in food department. And Dadi said, oh, this murli is food for me. And when I received this in uh, London, it's like after one month. So it's stale, right? It's not fresh food. <laughs> so 
So Dadi uh, Prakashmani Dadi was like, Raju Bhai, you should do something for this. You should not send the stale food. You should fr send her the fresh food. So Murlis we have, all the Murlis we have. So you should prepare ahead of time. So, uh, so uh, look, if there is some uh, Baba's child in Argentina and uh, they are waiting for the post because earlier we used to send all the Murlis through post uh, mail. So it's the family of 10 to 12,000. So this is only our uh, organization in this whole world like the same study throughout the world, same practice throughout the world, same blessing. Uh, everyone is reading the same, same uh, uh, all over the world. So at that time, it's been 16 years now when this happened, like, so we used to send now, uh, we, we started preparing two, three months ahead of time, uh, the Murlis keeping ready, like uh, if there is any festival, uh, upcoming festival is there, or uh, celebration, and then, uh, so I have to take care of so many things, then like if there is a Murli of uh, Thursday, I can't send it on Friday. So every Murli I used to read, every murli and then i i see uh, like if there is question answer if there is dharana points if there is everything and if there is upcoming festival like if there is shivratri is there a rakhi so it's not like if there is rakhi i can send shivratri's murli no so taking care of all those things so and taking all everybody together the whole world so now like i'm in front of you so when i was coming here so i had to prepare so many things in madhuban so i have already prepared murlis until july so that's already ready and all the uh, avyak signals are ready uh, until uh, june so, so now Dadi cannot read all the letters. So I have to read them because Dadi cannot read or write now. So it's all about effort, right? So we become like Dadi and re write those things. So, so Dadi Prakashmani, she, so it's a very uh, humorous thing. So Dadi came from hospital uh, and Dadi was on bed. And I went to Dadi and um, and I told Dadi, uh, I'm writing letters on your name and uh, since two years. And it's like, I always write the responses and write Dadi Prakashmani below the letter. So it doesn't, I don't feel right about that. You don't uh, dictate letters to me now you don't. So I'm not going to write anymore. So I was sitting in front of Dadi, uh, that, and I was sitting right in front of Dadi, um, uh, in front of his her bed. And after, at that time, uh, Dadi Gulzar, she just entered the room and asked, oh, what is he saying? So Dadi, uh, Prakashmani Dadi is like, see, he writes such good letter on my name and this is a blessing Baba has given him. And he's saying, I'm not going to write those letters anymore and tell him to write them. So I am giving him all the rights for this. So then Gurdhar Dadi is like, no, you should write, na, Dadi. Uh, and then uh, Prakashmani Dadi was like, ah, okay. And then she has never said no to Dadi Gulzar. And uh, I was sitting there, uh, Raju Bhai, and uh, he, uh, he said, okay, Dadi, now you dictate and I will write. So then Dadi uh, started, so Dadi said, okay, write. Dadi is 100% uh, perfectly fine. So the, uh, Raju Bhai is like, but I will not write that because you are not well, you have like oxygen, you are on bed, you can't come to the class, you are completely on bed, bed rest. So you are not, the body's 
No, so Dadi's like, no, but I am perfectly fine. I'm well. Dadi was so like, no, I'm well. And Dadi's like, this is all uh, about doctors. So this is coming from the doctors. There is something up down with the body. I am perfectly fine. I have no pain. I have nothing. So just right. Dadi is uh, perfectly fine. And Gulzar Dadi was just smiling there. And I wrote that. And then I asked Dadi, what else, Dadi? And then Dadi is like uh, opening her arms. Uh, Dadi said, I am uh, just embracing everyone, everyone, and giving so much love. And then she's like, oh, should I write it? Oh, this kind of love, only Baba can do it. I can do it. And then Gulzar Dadi is like, no, you you should do that because if not you then who is going to love like that so then daddy asked me to write these kind of two three lines and then daddy's like now write whatever you feel like uh, and then uh, and that's how daddy used to entertain us uh, uh, in her last moments and then daddy janki came to me and said uh, the way you used to write letters uh, with Dadi's name, Prakashmini Dadi's name, write on my name as well. Just give me to just review and then uh, then send it out. So whenever, uh, wherever we were, like Dadi was in, wherever in this world. So whenever I used to send her to review, and Dadi was very accurate to respond in within 10, 15 minutes, she used to uh, respond back. Okay, you wrote the letter, it was very good, but just add something, little thing, this thing to that. That's how she used to guide us. Not like, oh, you didn't do it right, no. She used to bless us with so many blessings. So Baba is Karan Karamanhar. So I had such blessings to work with all the seniors. So every day, Dadis used to have new thoughts, uh, new enthusiasm of doing things, uh, send this to Brahmin, send this to that. So then Dadis, they left and now I just sit with Baba and tell Baba, Baba, now Dadis are gone. So you just touch me what to write. So Baba keep touching us and uh, touching me and I just um, write few things. And with all this group that we have created, all of them, they help. And the whole group helps to create new uh, uh, projects for service. So that's how we are progressing. We are um, moving forward, but Baba is the one who is helping and Karan Karavan Har. Okay, Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you very much. Pais Om Shanti. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Raju Bhai. It feels like we should just keep listening to you. So this is such a fortune of Avyakti Parivar. So let's see when uh, uh, what would be the other time that we'll get this opportunity to listen to you. So like we read Murli every day uh, since 1969. So so we'll do that now, uh, Avyak Murli, and then we'll remember Baba. Om Shanti. Before we close with Om Baba. Om Shanti. Abhi Baba ko yaad karenge, par usse pehle, hama Avyakti Parivar ki taraf se Raju Bhai ko ek blessing denge, Avyakti Parivar ki taraf se. Aaj Sadgi aur Iman Tari ke Maha Mantra Dwara. Sabke dilo ki Raju Bhai, you are an invaluable jewel of Baba, shining like a diamond, who received the true blessings of everyone's heart through the great mantra of simplicity and honesty, who thinks about the benefit of every soul, and who always has good feelings towards everyone. So you are an invaluable jewel of Baba. Daddy Janki Kathiti. Daddy Janki used to say that we 
uh, we should care for everybody and share with everybody and in spiritual care mulyon ke dwara hi hoti hai na aur gyan ratan apne anubhav share karna aur dusron ko inspire karna to raju bhai ne yahi kiya na right to vyakti parivar sabhagyashali hai raju bhai ki apne anubhav sune this fortune to uh hear your um experiences so uh, in the afternoon also he shared few experiences so thanks a lot that you came uh, so we are feeling so good that you are here om shanti avyakti parivar being held so we'll try to project those in a vyakti parivar as well but we'll send you out parivar mein bhi kuch kuch dikhayenge sessions par wo hum aapko batayenge mail mein bhejenge kaun se bhejne hain kaun se sessions aap dekh sakte hain to abhi hum baba ko yaad karenge didi aur raju bhai se drishti lenge to bhumi ban keh rahe hain हकी अव्यक्ति परिवार में भी सबको टोली ब्लेसिंग मिलेगी सूक्ष्म रूप में और पीस विलेज में सबको मिलेगी इसके बाद